Amen. Christ is risen from the dead by death. I think I've done nothing in those only graves. I think he's still alive. Christ is risen from the dead by death. I think I've done nothing in those only graves. I think he's still alive. Christ is risen from the dead by death. I think I've done nothing in those only graves. I think he's still alive. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, be gracious and our sins. Master, partner, and equity, is holy and visit and heal. Our infirmity is for thy name's sake, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead by death, that he trampled down death, and in those in the graves that he be still life. Christ is risen from the dead by death, that he trampled down death, and in those in the graves that he be still life. Christ is risen from the dead by death, that he trampled down death, and in those in the graves that he be still life. I will confess thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all thy wonders. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will chant unto thy name, O Most High. And when an enemy be turned back, they shall grow weak and shall perish before thy face. For thou hast maintained my judgment and my cause. Thou hast sat upon the throne, O thou the judge's righteousness. Thou hast rebuked the heathen and the ungodly man of perish. His name thou hast brought it out forever and unto ages of ages. The swords of the enemy have utterly filled in the cities thou hast destroyed. The remembrance of him hath perished with a resounding noise, but the Lord forever abideth. In judgment hath he prepared his throne. His he himself will judge the world in righteousness. He will judge the peoples in uprightness. And the Lord has become a refuge for the poor man, a helper in times of well-being and in afflictions. And let them that know thy name hope in thee, for thou hast not forsaken them that seek thee, O Lord. Chant unto the Lord who dwelleth in Zion, who prepared his ways among the nations. For he that maketh inquiry for blood hath remembered them. He hath not forgotten the cry of the paupers. Have mercy on me, O Lord. See my humiliation, which I have suffered from mine enemies, O thou that dost raise me up from the gates of death, that I may declare all the praises in the gates of the daughter of Zion. We will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen are ensnared in the destruction which they have wrought, in the snare which they hid with their foot been caught. The Lord is known by the judgments which he executed. In the works of his own hands hath the sinner been caught. Let sinners be turned away unto these. Yea, all the nations that are forgetful of God, for the poor man shall not be forgotten to the end. The patience of the pauperous shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let my man of the nations be judged before thee. O Lord, set a lawgiver over them, let thee even know that they are but none. Why, O Lord, dost thou bound to stand afar off? Why dost thou overlook us in times of all being and afflictions? When the ungodly man is arrogant, the poor man runneth within. They are caught in the counsels which they devise. For the sinner praiseth himself in the lusts of his soul, and the unrighteous man likewise blesseth himself therein. The sinner hath provoked the Lord according to the magnitude of his wrath, he careth not. God is not before him. Profane are his ways in every season, thy judgments are removed from his sight. Over all his enemies shall be gained dominion. For he said in his heart, I shall not be shaken. From generation to generation shall I be without harm. With cursing is his mouth filled, and with bitterness and his <coughs> Under his tongue are the holy fellows. He sitteth in ambush with the rich, and secret places that he may slay the innocent. His eyes are set upon the poor man. He lieth in wait in a secret place like a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to seize upon the poor man, to seize upon the poor man to, when he draweth him in. In his snare will he humble himself, he will bow down and fall, while gaining dominion over the poor man. For he said in his heart, God hath forgotten. He hath turned away his face, that he might not see unto the end. Arise, O Lord, my God, let thy hand be lifted high. Forget not thy paupers to the end. Why hath the ungodly one provoked God? For he hath said in his heart, he will not make inquiry. Thou seest, for thou understandest travail and anger, that thou mightest deliver him into thy hands. 
to thee that their beggars been abandoned for thee, or for thou a helper. Break thou the arm of the sinner and of the evil man. His sin shall be sought out and be found no more. The Lord shall be king forever and unto the ages of ages. The heathen shall perish out of his land. The desire of the poor must the heard of the Lord. To the preparation of their heart hath thine ear been attentive. To judge for the orphan and the humble, that man may no more presume to be haughty upon the earth. In the Lord of my hope, how will he say to my soul, flee unto the mountains like a sparrow? For behold, the sinners have bent their bow. They have prepared for arrows for the quiver, to shoot down in a moonless night the upright of heart. For what thou hast formed, they have destroyed, and the righteous man, what hath he done? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord in heaven is his throne. <coughs> his eyes are set upon the poor man, his eyelids examine the sons of men. The Lord examineth the righteous man and the ungodly. But he that loveth unrighteousness seedeth his own soul. He will rain down snares upon sinners. Fire and brimstone, wind of tempest, shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous and hath loved righteousness. Upon a brightness of his countenance, look. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. For down the world of the ages of ages, amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to the Lord God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the Lord God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the Lord God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit. now and ever and unto the ages of ages of men. Save me, O Lord, for a righteous man there is no more, for truths have diminished from the sons of men. Vain things hath each man spoken to his neighbor, deceitful lips are in his heart, and in his heart hath he spoken evils. Let the Lord destroy all deceitful lips, and the tongue that speaketh boastful words which have said, Our tongue will we magnify, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us. Because of the distress of the beggars and the groaning of the poor, now will I arise, saith the Lord. I will establish them in salvation. I will be manifest therein. The words of the Lord are pure words, silver that is fired, tried in the earth, brought to sevenfold purity. Thou, O Lord, shalt keep us and shalt preserve us from this generation and forevermore. The ungodly walk round about, to the measure of thy loftiness as thou hast deemed the sons of men. How long, O Lord, wilt thou utterly forget me? How long wilt thou turn thy face away from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul with meetings in my heart by day and by night? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Look upon me, hear me, O Lord my God. Enlighten mine eyes, lest at any time I sleep unto death. Lest at any time mine enemy say I have prevailed against him. They that afflict me will rejoice if I am shaken. But as for me, I have hoped in thy mercy, my heart will rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord who is my benefactor, and I will chant unto the name of the Lord Most High. The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are become corrupt and loathsome in their ways. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the sons of men to see if there be any that understand or seek after God. They are all gone astray. They are all together under Jesus. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Shall not all they that look at you come to understanding? They that do not come to the life of the dead is not called upon the Lord. They are those who have the fear, but there is no fear. For the Lord is in the generation of the righteous. The counsel of the poor man of his sins, but the Lord is his hope. Who is the God of time, the salvation of Israel? When the Lord has turned back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the age of the ages. Amen. Alli, 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 and glory to God. Alli, 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 and glory to God. Alli, 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 and glory to God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and into the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, and who shall dwell in thy holy mountain? He that walketh blameless and worketh righteousness, speaking truth in his heart, who hath not spoken deceitfully with his tongue, neither hath done evil to his neighbor, nor taken up a reproach against those near him. In his sight he that worketh evil is said not, but he glorifieth them that fear the Lord. He giveth oath to his neighbor, and forswareth not. 
He hath not lent his money on usury, and hath not received bribes against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be shaken. Keep me, O Lord, for in thee have I hope. I said unto the, unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord, for of my goods may be thy strife. In the same that are in his earth, hath the Lord done wonders. He hath brought all his desires in men. There is remedy to be, there is none to be I will not assemble the assembly to blood, nor will I make no considerations to my wish. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. Thou art he that restores my inheritance unto me. Portions have fallen to me that are among the best, for my inheritance is most excellent to me. I will bless the Lord who hath given me understanding. Moreover, even to light of my wings instructed me. I beheld the Lord ever before me, for he is at my right hand, that I might not be shaken. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover, my flesh shall dwell in hope. For thou wilt not abandon my soul in Hades, nor wilt thou suffer the holy one to see corruption. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. Thou wilt fill me with gladness, with thy countenance, to thy in thy right hand forever. Hearken, O Lord, unto my righteousness, attend unto my supplication. Give ear unto my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips. From before thy face let my judgment come forth, let my eyes behold a brightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited it in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me, that my mouth might not speak of the works of men. For the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard. Set my footsteps in thy paths, that my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God. Incline thy ear unto me, and hearken unto my words. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, O God, that savest them that hope in thee. From them that have resisted thy right hand, and keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye. In the shelter of thy wings wilt thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly, which have oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves with their own fat. Their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me. They have set their eyes to look askance on the earth. They have taken me as might a lion ready for his prey, and as might a lion's whelp that dwelleth in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from ungodly men, thy sword from the enemies of thine hand. O Lord, from thy food, do thou separate them from the earth in their life. They with thy living treasures have their belly been filled. They have satisfied themselves with swine and have left the remnants to their babes. But as for me, righteousness shall I appear before thy face. I shall be filled with thy glory and made manifest to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. All the only, all the glory to your God, all the only, all the glory to your God, all the only, all the glory to your God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my foundation and my refuge and my deliverer. My God is my helper, and I will hope in him, my defender, and the horn of my salvation and my helper. With praise will I call upon the name of the Lord, and from my enemies shall I be saved. The pangs of death surrounded me, and the torrents of iniquity so they troubled me. The pangs of Hades encircled me round about. The snares of death have overtaken me, and in my affliction I called upon the Lord, and unto my God I cried. He heard my voice out of his holy temple, and my cry before him shall enter into his ears. And the earth shook and was made to tremble, and the foundations of the mountains were troubled and were shaken, because God was angry with them. There went up smoke in his wrath and fire from his countenance, set all the flame coals were kindled therefrom. And he bowed the heavens and came down, thick darkness was under his feet. And he mounted upon cherubim and flew, he flew upon the wing, wings of the wind. And he made darkness his hiding place, his tabernacle round about him, dark water in the clouds of the air. From the far shining radiance that was before him, there passed by clouds, hail, and coals of fire. And the Lord thundered out of heaven, and the Most High gave forth his voice. And he sent forth his arrows and scattered them, and lightnings he multiplied and troubled them sorely. And the wellsprings of the waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were revealed at thy rebuke, O Lord, at the unbreathing of the spirit of thy wrath. He sent from on high, and he took me, he received me out of many waters. He will deliver me from mine enemies, which are stronger than I, which which are mighty, and from them that are that hate me, for they are stronger than I. They overtook me in the day of mine affliction, and the Lord became my firm support. And He led me forth into a spacious place. He will deliver me because He desired me. And the Lord will recompense me according to my righteousness and according to the purity of my hands. Will He recompense me? For I have kept the ways of the Lord and I have not acted impiously toward my God. 
for all his judgments are before me, and his statutes departed not from me, and I shall be blameless with him, and I shall keep myself from mine iniquity, and the Lord will reward me according to my righteousness and according to the purity of my hands before his eyes. With the holy man wilt thou be holy, and with the innocent man wilt thou be innocent, and with the elect man wilt thou be elect, and with the perverse wilt thou be perverse. For thou wilt save a humble people, and thou wilt humble the eyes of the arrogant. For thou wilt light my lamp, O Lord my God, thou wilt enlighten my darkness. For by thee shall I be delivered from a host of robbers, and by my God shall I leap over a wall. As for my God, blameless is his way, the words of the Lord are tried in the fire. Defender is he of all that hope in him. For who is God, save the Lord, and who is God, save our God. It is God who girded me with power, and hath made my path blameless, who maketh my feet like the feet of a heart, and setteth me upon high places who teacheth my hands for war, and thou madest mine arms a bow of brass, and thou gavest me the shield of salvation, and thy right hand hath upheld me. And thine instruction hath corrected me even unto the end, yea, thine instruction the same will teach me. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, and the tracks of my feet are not weakened. I shall pursue mine enemies, and I shall overtake them, and I shall not turn back until they fail. I shall greatly afflict them, and they shall not be able to stand. They shall fall under my feet. For thou hast girded me with power for war and subjection under me. Hast thou bound the feet of all them that rose up against me? And thou hast made mine enemies turn their back before me, and them that hate me hast thou utterly destroyed. They cried, and there was no Savior even to the Lord. He hearkened not to them. And I will grind them fine as dust before the face of the wind. I will trample them down as mud in the streets. Deliver me from the gang, saying of the people, Thou set me at the head of nations, a people which I knew not hath served me no sooner than their ear had heard they obeyed me. Sons that are strangers have lied unto me, sons that are strangers have grown old, and they have limped away from their paths. The Lord liveth, and blessed is my God, let the God of my salvation be exalted. O God, who giveth avengement unto me, and hath subdued peoples under me, O my deliverer from enemies which are prone to anger, and from them that arise up against me, wilt thou lift me high, from the unrighteous man deliver me. For this cause will I confess thee among the nations, O Lord, and unto thy name will I chant. It is he that magnifieth the salvation of his king, and worketh mercy for his anointed, for David, and for his seed unto eternity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Look now, and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to your God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to your God, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to your God, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. The heavens declare the glory of God, and firmly proclaimeth the work of his hands. Day unto day poureth forth speech, and night unto night proclaimeth knowledge. There are no tongues nor words in which their voices are not heard. Their sound hath gone forth into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. In the sun hath he set his tabernacle, and he, like a bridegroom coming forth from his chamber, will rejoice like a giant to run his course. From the outermost border of heaven is his going forth, and his goal is unto the outermost part of heaven, and there shall no man hide himself from his heat. The law of the Lord is blameless, converting souls. The testimony of the Lord is trustworthy, bringing wisdom to infants. The statutes of the Lord are upright, gladdening the heart. The commandment of the Lord is far shining, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever and ever. The judgments of the Lord are true, altogether justified. More to be desired than gold, and much precious stone, and sweeter than honey and the honeycomb. Yea, for thy servant keepeth them, and keeping them there is much reward. As for transgressions, who will understand them? From my secret sins cleanse me, and from those of others spare thy servant. If they have not dominion over me, then blameless shall I be, and I shall be cleansed from great sin. And the sayings of my mouth shall be unto thy good pleasure, and the meditation of my heart shall be before thee forever, O Lord, my helper and redeemer. The Lord hear thee in the day of affliction, the name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Let him send forth unto thee help from his sanctuary, and out of Zion let him help thee. Let him remember every sacrifice of thine, and thy whole burnt offering let him fatten. The Lord grant thee according to thy heart, and fulfill all thy purposes. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of the Lord our God shall we be magnified. The Lord fulfill all thy requests. Now have I known that the Lord has saved his anointed one, he will hearken unto him out of his holy heaven. In mighty deeds is the salvation of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They have been fettered and have fallen, but we are risen and set upright. O Lord, save the King, and hearken unto us in the day when we call upon thee. O Lord, in thy strength the King shall be glad, and in thy salvation shall he rejoice exceedingly. The desire of his heart hast thou granted unto him, and hast not denied him the request of his lips. Thou wentest before him with the blessings of goodness, thou hast set upon his head a crown of precious stone. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest him length of days unto ages of ages. 
Great is his glory in thy salvation, glory and majesty shalt thou lay upon him. For thou shalt give him blessing forever and ever, thou shalt glad him in joy with thy countenance. For the king hopeth in the Lord, through the mercy of the Most High shall he not be shaken. Let thy hand be found on all thine enemies, let thy right hand find all that hate thee. For thou wilt make them as an oven of fire in the time of thy presence. The Lord in his wrath will trouble them sorely, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit wilt thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from the sons of men. For they have intended evil against thee, they have devised counsels which they shall not be able to establish. For thou shalt make them turn their backs among those that are thy remnant, thou shalt make ready their countenance. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy strength, we will sing and chant of thy mighty acts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Only 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 a glory to God, Lord and mercy, Lord and mercy, Lord and mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. O God, my God, attend to me, and I have forsaken me, far from my salvation, and the words of my transgressions. My God, I will cry by day, and wilt thou not hearken in my night, and it shall not be unto folly for me. But as for thee, thou dwellest in the sanctuary, O praise of Israel. In thee have our fathers hoped, they hoped, and thou didst deliver them. Unto thee they cried and were saved, and me they hoped and were not brought to shame. But as for me, I am a worm, and not a man, a reproach of men, and the outcast of the people. All that look upon me have laughed me to scorn, they have spoken with their lips, and have wagged their heads. He hoped in the Lord, let him deliver him, let him save him, for he desireth him. For thou art he that drew with me forth from the womb, my hope from the breast of my mother. On thee was I cast from the womb, from my mother's womb, thou art my God. Depart not from me, for tribulation is nigh, for there is none to help me. Many bullocks have encircled me, fat bulls have surrounded me. They have opened their mouth against me, as might a lion ravenous and roaring. Have been poured out like water, and scattered are all my bones. My heart has become like wax, melting in the midst of my bowels. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue hath cleaved to my throat, and into the dust of death hast thou brought me down. For many dogs have encircled me, the congregation of evildoers has surrounded me, they have pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones, and they themselves have looked and stared upon me. They have parted my garments amongst themselves, and from my vesture have they cast lots. But thou, Lord, remove not thy help far from me, attend unto my name. Rescue my soul from the sword, even this only begotten one of mine from the hand of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion, and my lowliness from the horns of the unicorns. I will declare thy, thy name unto my brethren, and in the midst of the church will I hymn thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him, all ye that are of the seed of Jacob, glorify him. Let all fear him that are of the seed of Israel. For he hath not said it not, nor report the supplications of the pauper, nor hath he turned his face from me. And when I cried unto him, he hearkened unto me. From thee is my praise in the great church, will I confess thee, my vows will I pay before them that fear thee. The poor shall eat and be filled, and they that seek the Lord shall praise him, their hearts shall live forever and ever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and shall turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nation shall worship before him. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he himself is sovereign of the nations. All they that be fat upon the earth have eaten and worshipped. All they that go down into the earth shall fall down before him. Yea, my soul liveth for him, and my seed shall serve him. The generation that cometh shall be told of the Lord, and they shall proclaim his righteousness to a people that shall be born, which the Lord hath made. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want in a place of green pasture. There hath he made me to dwell. Beside the water of rest hath he nurtured me. He hath converted my soul. He hath led me on the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. For though I should walk in the midst of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they have comforted me. Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of them that afflict me. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, and thy cup which filleth me, how excellent it is. And thy mercy shall pursue me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord unto length of days. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the, wo the world, and all that dwell therein. He hath found it upon the seas, and upon the rivers hath he prepared it. Who shall ascend into the mountain of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place? He that is innocent in hands, and pure in heart, who hath not received his soul in vain, hath not sworn deceitfully to his neighbor. Such a one shall receive a blessing from the Lord, and mercy from God his Savior. This is the generation of them that seek the Lord, of them that seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be lifted up your everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in war. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be lifted up your everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. Glory 
and to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord in my life. I will chant unto my God for as long as I have my being. Just united princes in the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. In his spirit shall go forth, and he shall return unto his earth. In that day all this thought shall perish. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his son, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Who hath made heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that is therein. Who keepeth truth unto eternity, who executed judgment for the wrong, who giveth food unto the hungry. The Lord who set the fetter, the Lord maketh wise the blind, the Lord set at the right the fallen. Preserveth the proselyte. He shall adopt for his own the orphan and widow, and the way of sinner shall he destroy. The Lord shall be king unto eternity, the God of Zion, unto generation and generation, both now and ever.
Christ and be glad there is. Christ is risen from the dead, and by death that he trampled down death and on those who seek thy graves hath he bestowed.
Wherefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered outside the gate. Let us go forth, therefore, unto him outside the camp, bearing his reproach. For here have we no abiding city, but we seek the one to come. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving praise unto his name. But forget not to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Sabbath that day, and Jesus there, the Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, This is the Sabbath day, it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. Then asked they him, What man is this which made, said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he, and, and he that was healed knew not that it was Jesus, for Jesus hath withdrawn, and a multitude being in the, a multitude being in the place, Afterward, Jesus finding him in the temple, said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. And the man departed, and told the Jews that it was Jesus that made him whole. Oh. Glory to thee, O Lord. Glory about the, the paralytic that was healed by our Savior. And here we see a man thir that was ill, thir paralyzed, 38 years. If we think about that, that's an entire lifetime for some of us. I mean, uh, as monastics, how many of us have even been in the monastery for 38 years? And then some of us longer, but still, that's an entire lifetime this man was ill. And this man was brought to the Beth Bethesda to, to try to receive healing. Because one time a year an angel would stir up the waters and the first one that stepped in was made whole. Think about the faith and the patience of this man. What was the chances that he'd go in before anybody else? He was paralyzed. For him to move from his, from his bed just onto the floor took a, took a great effort. But still, he, was, he had a great faith. And he, he was there every, every single day because they never knew when the water was going to be troubled. So he had to be there early from early morning to late at dusk 
to, uh, for this opportunity, for this chance. And when our Savior saw him there, lying there, and of course knew about this person, and said unto him, are you going to be healed? And this man, instead of becoming bitter, becoming nasty after suffering for so many years, he didn't, he didn't complain. He said, Look, sir, I've been here, you know, I try, but every time I try to go in the water, someone goes in before me. So as opposed to becoming bitter with his illness, with his sickness, after so many years of trying, of being there day after day after day, and when the water was finally troubled just once a year, still his opportunity was lost as others ran before him. But still he did not lose faith, he did not give up, hoping and praying that someday it would be his opportunity. Our Savior saw him, our Savior had mercy on him and he healed him. But think about this man's patience. And it's actually his patience that healed him. When we see a person patient in illness, we see how, how heroic they are, how long suffering they are. As opposed to most of us, we have a little <coughs> pinprick and we cry to the, the, until uh, we become annoying to those around us. But those who really suffer, we hear nothing, nothing. And they sit and they suffer patiently. We don't hear any complaints. Matter of fact, usually they have a joyous spirit and they make us feel better. How many times we come across people like this? who, as opposed to complaining about the, how they're feeling, ask us how we feel. And then we tell them about the, our, our minuscule problems, they feel sorry for us. And, but then they tend to raise up our spirits. So it's amazing, the faith that this man had, but also the patience. So in our patience, our Savior says, we possess our souls. And the fathers say there's three ways in which a person can be saved. Patience in, in martyrdom, patience in monasticism and patience in illness. And of the three, patience in illness is the greatest. Because martyrdom you can deny. Monasticism you can get up and leave. We've seen that done many, many times. Because people, people stop being patient. When it comes to illness though, is there every single day. And no matter how impatient we are, the illness doesn't go away. In fact, if we're patient, it's easier to bear. And <laughs> also easier for those around us. But there's another type of person who has also a great reward, greater than the person's patient illness, is a person who helps those who are, are sick and infirm, the person who takes care of them. Because it's, it's, it's thankless work. Day after day after day, the, the caretaker suffers along with him that is ill, cleaning them, feeding them, changing them, day after day after day. But the secret of, all, of to be saved in both of these um, struggles is the word patience and not to complain. And, and if we are patient and we don't complain, that's how we'll be saved. Our Savior gives us a gift, knowing our uh, shortcomings. And if this gift this is given to us is, is illness and patience in illness, we should understand that through, through this gift, we can be saved. We will be saved. Because our Savior told us, in your patience, possess your soul. The thing is that this gift, when it's given to us, we shouldn't squander it. Something else, the end of the gospel that amazed that finally caught my, my, my eye. I mean, how many times have we read this gospel? But this time it just caught me. After the, after the paralytic was healed, it was a Sabbath day. And the Jews said unto him, why are you walk carrying your bed? You're not supposed to be working on the Sabbath day. And he said, he who healed me told me to take up my bed and walk. They didn't ask him, who healed you? They asked him, and this is a great miracle, that man was a paralytic for 38 years. But they asked him, who told you to, to take up thy bed and walk? So they were not interested in the miracle. They were not interested in the good deed and that which was a, a, a great wonder. A man 38 years now healed in a, in a matter of a, a blink of an eye. But they just wanted to condemn our Savior. So our Savior who healed the blind man, this, um, sorry, the paralytic who was patient for so many years, may he heal our infirmities of soul. So we may be with him in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Let us all say with the whole soul and the whole mind. Let us say. Lord, have mercy. 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 Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy.
Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy.
begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and arose again on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascended into the heavens, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. 
and in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Que sana kirini su Christon to ne on to the monigeni, to nek to patros yanitan to propandon to ne on on, fosek fotos te on alithino, nek the alithino yanitanda, upi thanda omosion to patridio tapande yanito, to the masters of tropus que the art and imitar and sotiria, cattle thonda ekdon uranon que sarco thanda. Hec plemmatos a Iu, que Maria esti spartano, que anatropi sanda. Stavro thenda te perimon, epipondio pelato, que pathonda, que te fenda, que anastanda, te triti mer, que tatos grafas, que anau thonda, istus uranos, que cates omenon, ec dexion te patros, que padin ec homenon, metadoxis grines, ondas que ne cruz, utis vasilia su queste telos, Que esto plema to ayer, to kirion, to sopion, to ecto patros, ec pore pomenon, to sin patriceo, sin proskin humenon, que sin doxos homenon, to la lisan de ato profiton, ismian, agian, catholicin, que apostolicin, eclesian, homologo en baptis mais apes in amartion, pros doco anastes in ecron, Кесуинтунавундосеонасамин. Нас ради человека и нашего ради спасения, шедшего с небес и воплотившегося от Духа Святой Марии, Девы Его Человечества, распятого Жезаны при Пантистом Пилате, истодавшей погребенно и воскрешшего в третий день по Писанию, и вошедшего на небеса и сидящего Десную Отца, и паки ведущего со славою, судите живым и мертвым, и уже царствие не будет конца. И в Духа Святого, Господа Животворящего, и же от Отца и Садящего, и же с Отцем и Сыном споклоняемой, и славим от Бога нашего пророки, во единую святую и соборную апостольскую церковь, исповедую единое крещение по оставлению веков, чаю воскресения мертвых и жизни будущего века. Аминь.
our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us in the evil one. Precious blood, 
Wherefore I pray thee have mercy on me and forgive me my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge and in ignorance, and vouchsafe that uncondemned I may partake of thine immaculate mysteries unto the remission of sins and unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold, I approach divine communion, O Maker, burn me not as I partake, for fire art thou which burneth the unworthy, but purify thou me of every stain. Of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I'll not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief do I confess thee, remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Tremble, O man, as thou beholdest the deifying blood, for as a burning coal consuming the unworthy, the body of God both deifieth and nourisheth me, it deifieth the spirit, and wondrously nourisheth the mind. Thou hast smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by thy divine love hast thou changed me. But with thine immaterial fire consume my sins, and count me worthy to be filled with delight in thee, that leaping for joy, O good one, I may magnify thy two comings. Into the splendor of thy saints, how shall I, the unworthy one, <coughs> or should I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my vesture doth betray me, for it is not a wedding garment. And as one bound, I should be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the defilement of my soul, and save me, since thou art the friend of man. O man befriending Master, Lord Jesus my God, let not these holy gifts be unto me for judgment through mine unworthiness, but for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and as an earnest of the life and kingdom to come. For it is good for me to cleave unto God, and to place in the Lord the hope of my salvation. Of thy mystic supper, O Son of God, receive me today as a communicant, for I'll not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give thee a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief do I confess thee, remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Master, in thy kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, in thy kingdom. It is the day of resurrection, let us be radiant, O ye peoples. Pause to the Lord's pause, God. For Christ God hath brought us from death unto life, and from earth unto God. Amen. Let's receive the triumphal yeah. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Let us purify our senses, and we shall be whole of Christ, radiant with the unapproachable light of the resurrection. And we shall clearly hear him say, Rejoice as we sing the triumphal Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. For he did is that the heaven should rejoice, and that the earth should be glad. And that the whole world, both visible and invisible, should keep the feast. For Christ, our everlasting joy, hath the risen. Come, let us drink a new drink, not by marvelous depart, but from the barren rock. But the source of incorruption, which biggeth forth from the grave of Christ, in whom we are restored. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Now are all things filled with light, heaven and earth, and the nethermost regions of the earth. Let all creation therefore celebrate the arising of Christ, whereby it is established. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Yesterday I was buried with the O Christ, and today I arise with thine arising. Yesterday was I crucified with thee, to know thyself, glorify me with thee, O Savior, in thy kingdom. Let the prophet of Akum, the proclaimer of divine things, keep the divine watch with us, and show forth the radiant angel who with resounding voice hath declared, Today doth bring salvation to the world, for Christ is risen as omnipotent. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. And as a mortal must he call the land, thus with all courageous our pasta, for he tasted not corruption. And since he is truly God, perfect was he proclaimed. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Christ our blessed crown, like unto a yearly lamb, of his own good will did sacrifice himself for all. A Pascha purification, and from the grave the beautiful Son of Righteousness shone forth again upon us. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. David, the ancestor of our God, danced with thee beam before the symbolical Ark of the Covenant. Let us also the holy people of God behold the fulfillment.
government of the symbols, be rejoicing God be wise, for Christ is risen as some gift of time. Let us arise in the deep dark, and instead of mirth, offer praise to the Master, and we shall see Christ, the Son of Righteousness, who causeth life to dawn for all. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. When those held captive in the bonds of Hades beheld thy boundless compassion, O Christ, they hasten to the light with a joyful step, exalting the eternal Pascha. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Very life set us so forth to me, Christ, who cometh forth from the grave like a bridegroom. And with the ranks of them that love and keep this festival, let us celebrate the saving pause the God. Let us descend into the deepest parts of the earth, and to shelter the everlasting hearts that felt past those that were fettered of Christ. And on the third day, like Jonas from the sea, he wants to God is to rise from the grave. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Having kept the seals intact, O Christ, thou didst rise from the tomb. O thou who didst not break the seal of the virgin by thy birth, and thou hast opened unto us the gates of paradise. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord, O my Savior, the life-giving and unsaved sacrifice, let us call thou of thine own will. Hast offered up thyself unto the <coughs> Father, thou didst raise up with thyself the whole race of Adam, and thou hast promised from the grave. The holy, blessed, and most glorious God of our fathers, who hath redeemed the children from the furnace, is become man, and as a mortal does suffer, and through suffering doth go mortality with the grace of incorruption. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. The godly wise women followed after thee in peace, the sweet smelling her. But him who they sought with tears as dead, they joyfully adored as the living God. And announced unto thy disciples, O Christ, the glad tidings of the mystical Pascha. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. We celebrate the death of death, the destruction of Hades, the beginning of an everlasting life. And with thee so joy we praise the cause thereof, the only blessed and most glorious God of our Father. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Truly sacred and supremely festive is the saving night, radiant with light, the forerunner of the bright beaming day of the resurrection, where all the timeless light in bodily form shone from the grave for all. <coughs> this chosen and holy day is the first of the Sabbath, the Queen and Lady, the Feast of Peace, and the Festival of Festivals. Christ unto the ages. Glory to thy holy resurrection, O Lord. Come on this auspicious day of the resurrection. Let us partake of the new fruit of the vine of divine kindness and of the kingdom of Christ, praising him as God unto the ages. Glory to thy holy <coughs> resurrection, O Lord. Cast thine eyes about thee, O Zion, and behold, for lo, light divinely radiant the luminaries, from the west and north, the sea and the east, have thy children assembled unto thee, blessing Christ unto the ages. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord, God, Lord, and the 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 L
So we are so 
With the grain and shelf of children, damned and fairer than them that babble sumptuously. Thou hast made good king, place his grains also gaze thy verse, who is sanctified and partaker of. But as on thy glory, Lord, said by his servants, and out of memory, the sin of nations, the great, the patriarch of God, his hand, your holy, Mars, Hesperus, Zoe, and Kiria, Kos, and Yodel, Sarum, our righteous father, Jordan, our holy, Hyrum, martyrs, Vendemialis, and Longinus, the bishops of Africa, our holy, blessed Michael, the king of Bulgaria. Holy Passion, Barris, Boris, and Levin, Holy Baptism, we name Michael and David, Romanos and David. All right, uh, Saints, Athanasius, the, the Lubin, the Patriarch of Constantinople. And also, may we then have finished life in godly faith, with all any good, grant them for all these things, celebrate this memory. May we start a quest to join other and everlasting good things, by the intercessions of all Maculate, the Talks of Virgin Mary. And Saint Athanasius, the Great, the Patriarch of Alexandria. Holy Mars, who spreads so we as Kitty goes to the Odalus of Rome. All right, just follow Jordan, or Holy Hyro Mars. Vendemialis and Longinus, the Bishop of Africa, who blesses Michael, the King of Bulgaria, Holy Passions, Bearers, Boris, and Glad, and Holy Baptism in the name of Romanos and David, and Saint Athanasius, the Patriarch of uh, Constantinople, and also may we them to finish life in godly faith, not only good, granted them. As we also keep no other saints, while he the blessed sign of the things of Christ of God, to the use of the glory of thy Father, which is without beginning, the holy God, Spirit, Father. Amen. Amen. Christ is risen. Truly is risen. I was unnesty. I was unnesty. We worship is arising on the third day. Truly the Lord is risen. I should have said this. I'm all confused today. <laughs> 
<laughs> Either of us in that question to God, but the session that was all Michael Bishop, the Lord of the Pali and Michael Cross. Very large part from every John, who goes to Paul's advantage, John, the Lord's great Paul of Mosul, he writes the answer to God, Joe Command. The same Athanasius of Peter Alexander, who comes over to celebrate Holy Mars, especially as we of Rome, and the children of Kikos and the old of us. The Holy is the same, righteous Father Jordan, the one to work, Holy High Mars, and the Mialis, and Lawrence, the bishops of Africa. Blessed Michael, the King of Bulgaria, the Holy Apostle, Holy Passions, Bearers, Force, and Glare. The Holy Baptism of Vinian Romanos and David, who comes over to celebrate. The Saint Athanasius, the Lubin, the Patriarch of Constantinople, is very keeping all saints in mercy. Amen. 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 And having a thank the good communion of the life and the mystic is drink like a prayer and great thanksgiving and prayer and from the soul cry to God. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, that thou hast not rejected me the sinner, but hast deemed me worthy to be communicant to the holy mysteries. I thank thee that thou hast deemed me worthy, unworthy as I am, to partake of thy immaculate and heavenly gifts. Thought I may be friendly, last year to start with us, and rise again, and to grant to see us, I dread, and let great mysteries. I grant to the sacrifice of our souls and bodies. Grant also that this may be unto me for the healing of both soul and body, for the averting of everything hostile, for the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, for the peace of the powers of my soul, for love and faith, for faith and shame, for the plenitude of wisdom, for the keeping of thy commandments, for an increase of thy divine grace, and to be attained to thy kingdom. That being kept by them in their holiness, I may ever remember thy grace and never live for myself, but for thee, our master, and benefactor. And thus, when from this life I passed in the hope of life eternal, may I attain to everlasting rest where the sun is ceasing of them that keep festival, and unending the delight of them that behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance. For thou art the true desire and the unutterable goddess of them that love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation praises thee unto the ages. Amen. O Master Christ, God, King of the ages and Creator of all, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast bestowed upon me, and for the participation that I make you in thy free and mysterious. I pray thee, therefore, O good one, O friend of man, guard me under thy protection in the shadow of thy wings, and grant thee with a pure conscience to my last breath, I may worthily partake of thy holy gifts, and to forgive us the sins in life everlasting. For thou art the bread of life, the wellspring of holiness, and the giver of all that is good. And to thee we send our glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now given unto the ages of ages to Amen. Thou givest me willingly as nourishment thy flesh, thou who art fire and dost consume the unworthy. Scorch me not on my maker, but by the path through with the right order in my members. And to all my joints, my reins, and my heart, burn up the thorns of all my offenses, purify my soul, sanctify my mind. Make for my knees and bones, and lighten the simple unity of my five senses. Kneel down the holy key without fear, every shelter, guard, and keep me from every soul, part, and deed, and word. Purify, cleanse, and order me aright. Make me comely, give me understanding, and enlighten me. Show me forth as habitation of the spirit only, and no longer as habitation of sin. That as I abode from the entrance into that communion, every evil door and passion may flee from me like fire. As intercessors I bring to thee all the sanctified, the ranks of the incorporeal powers, I forerunner the wise apostles, and prove thy pure spotless mother. The grace of these receive, O my compassionate Christ, and make of me who worship thee a child of life. For thou alone art of sanctification, O good one, and the illumination of our souls. And to thee, as to our God and Master, we each day is as feeding all send of glory. May the holy body, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, be unto me for eternal life, and thy precious blood for the forgiveness of sins. And may this Eucharist be unto me for joy, health, and gladness. And in thy dread second coming, make me the sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory. By the intercessions of thine all immaculate mother and of all thy saints, amen. O holy lady, the Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope and protection, my refuge and consolation, and my joy. I thank thee that thou hast me, the unworthy one, worthy to be a communicant to the immaculate body and the precious blood of thy son. But do thou give us birth to the true light and light and away the cries of my heart. O thou who didst conceive the source of your mortality, give life to me who am dead in sin. O thou who art the compassionately loving mother, the merciful God, have mercy on me, give me compunction and condition of heart, humility in my reasonings, and recall my thoughts and their captivity, and deem me worthy to my last breath to receive without condemnation the sanctification of the immaculate mysteries, unto healing of both soul and body. And grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may him and glorify <coughs> all the days of my life. For blessed and glorified art thou to the ages. For blessed and glorified art thou to the ages. For blessed and glorified art thou to the ages.
Amen. Christ is risen from the dead by death of the trample down death and on those in the graves. Hath he bestowed life? Christ is risen from the dead by death of the trample down death and on those in the graves. Hath he bestowed life? Christ is risen from the dead by death of the trample down death and on those in the graves. Hath he bestowed life? Glory to the Father and Son and Holy Spirit, both now and now and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and Son and Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. We forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. <coughs> Amen. Let the heavens rejoice, let earthly things be glad. For the Lord hath wrought might with his arm, yet trampled upon death by death. The firstborn of the dead hath he become from the belly of Hades, hath he delivered us, and hath granted great mercy to the world. Thou wast orthodoxy, steadfast pillar, holding up the church with godly dogmas. O great hierarch, for thou dost preach unto all that God the Son is one essence, in very truth with God the Father. Thus thou didst shame Arius. Righteous Father, Athanasius, do thou entreat Christ God, that his great mercy be granted unto us. Grace shining forth from thy mouth like a beacon hath illumined the universe and disclose to the world treasures of uncovetousness and shown the heights of humility but whilst instructing us by thy words. O Father, John Chrysostom, intercede with the word, Christ our God, to save our souls. As of old, thou dost raise up the paralytic, O Lord God, by thy God, thy care and might, raise up my soul, which is palsied by diverse sins and transgressions and by unseemly deeds and acts that being saved I may also cry out, O compassionate Redeemer, O Christ our God, glory to thy dominion and might. <clears throat> Having planted the dogma of orthodoxy, thou hast cut out the thorns of false doctrine, and with the reign of the Spirit, thou hast increased the seed of the faith. O righteous one, wherefore we acclaim thy memorial. <clears throat> From the heavens hast thou received divine grace, and by thy lips thou dost teach all to worship the one God in Trinity, O John Chrysostom, O blessed righteous one. Rightly do we acclaim thee, for thou art a teacher, revealing things divine. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Shine, shine, O New Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord hath arisen upon thee. Dance now, and be glad, O Zion, and do thou exalt. O pure Theotokos, in the arising of him whom thou didst bear. In the name of the Lord, Holy Father, bless. <coughs> Amen. The angel cried unto her, That is full of grace, hope your virgin rejoice. And again I say, Rejoice, for thy son hath arisen from the grave on the third day. Shine, shine, O new Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord hath arisen upon thee. Dance now and be glad, O sign, and do thou exult, O pure Theotokos, in the arising of him whom thou despair. I will exalt thee, O my God, my King, and I will bless thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and exceedingly to be praised, and of his greatness there is no end. Generation and generation shall praise thy works, and thy power shall they declare. Of the majesty of the glory of thy holiness shall they speak, and they shall tell of thy wonders. And the power of thine awesome deeds shall they relate, and they shall tell of thy majesty. <coughs> the memory of the multitude of thy goodness shall they pour forth, and in thy righteousness shall they rejoice. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy. 
The Lord is good to all, and his compassions are over all his works. Let all thy works, O Lord, give praise to thee, and let thy righteous ones bless thee. Of the glory of thy kingdom shall they speak, and shall tell of thy dominion, to make thy dominion known to the sons of men, and the glory of the majesty of thy kingdom. Thy kingdom is the kingdom of all the ages, and thy sovereignty is in every generation of generation. Faithful is the Lord in all his words, and holy in all his works. The Lord upholdeth all that are falling, and setteth up all that are broken down. The eyes of all look to thee with hope, and thou gavest them their food into season. Thou openest thy hand, and fillest every living thing with thy favor. Righteous is the Lord in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh to all that call upon him, to all that call on him in truth. The will of them that fear him shall they do, and their supplication shall they hear, and he shall save them. The Lord preserveth all that love him, but all the sinners shall he utterly destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name forever, yea, forever and ever. <clears throat> the angel cried unto her that is full of grace, O pure virgin, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. For thy son hath arisen from the grave on the third day. Shine, shine, O new Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord hath arisen upon thee. Dance now and be glad, O sign, and do thou exalt. O pure Theotokos, in the arising of him whom thou despair. I was glad because of them that said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet have stood in thy courts, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is builded as a city which is well or share in concord. For there the tribes went up the tribes of the Lord as a testimony for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones unto judgment, thrones over the house of David. Ask now for the things which are for the peace of Jerusalem and for the prosperity of them that love thee. Let peace be now in thy strength and prosperity in thy palaces. For the sake of my brethren, my neighbors, I speak peace concerning thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I have sought good things for thee. Glory to the Father and Son and Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Holy Father, bless. Thank you. 